Hi, my name is Dr. Zach Shaw, and I'm with the Upper Cervical Spine Center here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I want to talk to you about a condition called Bell's Palsy. Now, Bell's Palsy, or some call it facial palsy, basically means that half of the face, usually half, stops working meaning that the muscles aren't taut. They're not working like they should. And so if someone smiles, their part of their mouth is still drooping or the cheek is still down. The eyebrow stays low in the, in the eyelid also, okay? Not only that, that's the motor aspect of it, but the sensory aspect of it is that sometimes taste changes, okay? And also the lacrimal gland of the eye doesn't produce tears like it should, or the salivary gland of the mouth doesn't produce saliva like it should. So we end up with dry eyes and dry mouth and half of our face just not working like it should. And we wonder why does this happen? Well, we know in science, in neurology, that the facial nerve controls all of the stuff I just mentioned. As we can see, the facial nerve, which comes off of the brain stem, innervates multiple parts of the face, including part of the eye, into the cheek, into the mouth as well, okay? But if there's interference to that facial nerve at the location of the brain stem, we basically get abnormal messages from the brain to the facial nerve and back, and thus Bell's palsy can occur. So what can we do as upper cervical doctors to help with this? It is literally exactly what we do. We take pressure off the brain stem. And so if you have a misalignment at the top of the neck, which surrounds the brain stem, okay, it could very well be interfering with the messages between the brain stem and the rest of the body, including this facial nerve. All we have to do is locate and correct that misalignment, put it back where it needs to be, taking pressure off the brain stem, thus allowing the facial nerve to receive the proper input from the nervous system, and thus we see the Bell's palsy go away. We start adjusting that bone in the neck, taking pressure off the brain stem, and now the face muscles start to work properly, the taste comes back, the tears and the saliva come back as well. That's what we do as upper cervical doctors. Unfortunately, conventional care doesn't really have a solution. You know, they really don't know why this facial paralysis or this Bell's palsy occurs. And so they'll throw some drugs at you. And if it persists for a long time, eventually they may just cut the facial nerve, which is definitely something we want to try to avoid. So why not try to heal from the inside out with upper cervical care, allowing that brain stem to be free so the entire body can work right, allowing that Bell's palsy to completely clear up. So if you or a loved one struggle with Bell's palsy, or maybe it just happened yesterday and you're watching this video for the first time, give our office a call at 704-588-5560. We are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and we would be happy to at least do a free consultation for you to see if you may have an upper cervical issue. If you're not in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, give our office a call anyway, and I promise we will find an upper cervical doctor as close to you as possible. I hope you learned something today, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. You take care. All you need to know is that conventional medical care really just treats the effects of your condition. Drugs and surgery really just mask the symptoms. And although surgery can be warranted sometimes, very rarely is it needed. With upper cervical care, we find the cause of your condition by finding the misalignment in the top of the neck, putting pressure on your brain stem, which interferes with the messages between your brain and your body. Give our office a call today.